How's it going everyone? Caleb here with Layton Gaming. This time guys gonna be ripping the Ultra Premium Collection Box Break, number 18. Good luck, the celebrations Ultra Premium of course. Just did that random. Here you go, results for you. All right, time to start ripping the box. Good luck and congrats if you did land some of the promo cards. We'll get those out of the box and give you a look at them. All right. There is the Ultra Premium. So last Pokemon break for a little bit, then we'll have some more later on tonight. Got a Pokeball gold item card. There you go, Stacy. Nice. Um, Electric is going to be the Pikachu. There you go, David. Nice as well. All the packs. Almost certainly going to have some more Electric cards in here. All these Celebrations packs. Um, and then Pikachu as well for you, David. The metal uh, gold Pikachu. And Vincent. There it is. The golden metal Charizard. Congratulations, Vincent. Very sick promo. Beauty. There you go, man. Pinning coin for Justin. Here they are. Set those over there for now. A few more packs. These are the Sword and Shield packs. Chilling, three of them, three vivid, two darkness. A blaze. Uh, the uh, code here does ship as well to that um, spot for Justin. Move that box. Move that box there. Okay. Good luck. Packs time. We'll start it out with celebrations here. Get these rolling for you guys. Good luck on it. Ultra premium time. Arcane Rising case up next. Or a half case, excuse me. Of Arcane Rising. Uh, Blastoise. Nice. Hollow. There you go. Uh, and Flying Pikachu V. Nice. Um, I could take it out of the packaging if you want, Vincent. Um, but it's pretty tough to get it back in the packaging then. But I can give it a... I'll give it a look. But it's pretty tough to see in the packaging. But just be aware if I take it out of the packaging, then it's tough to get back in. So then the card would just be top loaded. But I can at least give it a look here. Um, I don't know if that's on the, once again, I can't tell if that, there's like a tiny little mark there. I can't tell if that's on the package or if it's on the card. Whew, let's check out the rest though. That side looks clean. I think it's on the package maybe. Can't quite tell. Um, I don't see too much of that like golding or gold flaking, if any. Looks pretty good. And the front looks uh, pretty fine, I would say. <clears throat> but yeah, the best way to ship it is actually in those uh, protecting, um, like, protectors right there. In a mag, it could potentially slide just because of the material that it's made out of. Mew, something to be learned. Yeah, it does look pretty good. I think, like I said, that top left thing was on the packaging. Groudon and Zacian V. Psychic fighting. It looked like it at least. Little indent mark or whatever it was. I believe it was just on the packaging. A uh, nice full art Pikachu. Electric. Uh, there's a Venusaur for grass. Nice. And a Mew. I do have an Ultra Premium. I just haven't opened it yet. So technically I have the promos. <laughs> just haven't opened it yet. I know they're in there. This is still sealed. Uh, Pikachu Full Art. Yeah, that was... See, that's, I guess, what was also happening with PSA as well, Sean. Believe it or not. Uh, one of the top grading companies they had some similar problems where um the way that they were like encasing them or uh encapsulating them in those slabs it had a tendency to move and slide a little bit and of course that is not the point of um having one of those you know <laughs> i hear you vincent i hear you like i said i don't really know what the plans are with mine groudon and lunala because i know the promos are in there but I don't know if I want to take them out or not. 
Because the, uh... Um, yeah, they stopped grading them, exactly. Surfing Pikachu, that's what I was just going to say. They stopped grading them for a while, and then, um, hypothetically, they'll find a way to uh, better encapsulate them, and then they'll be able to start grading them again. But it could be some time. No one really knows how much time. So anyone that does have one of those graded right now is getting quite the premium for it. Flying Pikachu VMAX. The PSA 10s right now are really selling for a premium because uh, not too many people actually got theirs in right away before they did kind of shut it off. It's funny, they actually, when Celebrations released, they initially said that they weren't going to be accepting them for a small period of time so that they could go ahead and figure out a way to encapsulate them safely. Uh, they opened up the grading and then they just had to close it again a couple weeks later because I guess they failed. Uh, Imposter, Professor Oak, and a Mew. But they'll grade printing plates. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Like I said, um, Vincent as well, we um, had noticed as well, putting it in even these here pro mold mags that we use with the sleeves and stuff. Um, the 35 point and the 55 point, it did slide a little bit. So, uh, Sol Galio. So yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a weird one. It's potentially the material on the card, like the foiling and stuff that causes it to do that. I'm not too sure, honestly. Uh, Pikachu, but just like something interesting to note. Full art Pikachu again. Uh, like like I said, potentially maybe uh, it is that foiling that they're using on the card. It's a lot different than just like standard. Um, uh, what's it called? Like standard, uh, like an elements card or a printing plate, like you said. Flying Pikachu V again. Told you, Electric, you're going to find more Pikachus. <laughs> sure enough. Maybe have to keep it in that plastic. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think that's just the way to do it for at least a little bit. Uh, Mega Rayquaza EX. Nice. You can always top load it as well. There's really nothing wrong with ever top loading it, of course. But I definitely, uh, I think uh, it's well protected in that case, though. And Lunala. Nice one, basic. There you go. Mega Rayquaza EX. Some small dabs of glue on the card and then it won't move. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. PSA 10. Groudon. Solgaleo. Hey, what's up, Spyro? How you doing? <laughs> that is funny. That should keep it in place, Nick. And a surfing Pikachu VMAX. All right, that does it for the celebrations packs of the Ultra Premium. Let's get to those Sword and Shield packs now. <laughs> Duct tape works as well. <laughs> right, Justin. Ooh, that is nice, man. Psychic energy. How about it? Gold for ya. Psychic card. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Yeah, like Professor just said, only two left, guys, now. In that Welcome to Wraith. Half case later on tonight. Only two to go on that one. If you are interested, guys, here is a link for it. Last two spots tonight. Personals are full. Those are the last two spots tonight. There's your link. Psychic. Congrats on that. Awesome card. Wow. <laughs> Present. Oh, man. That is funny, man. That is funny. Yeah, I love, I love the Ultra Premiums, man. Spyro. Ultra Premium Collection is nice. Got Avery and Kecleon. Whirlipede. Just two to go. Arcane Rising next. Peony and Weezing. <laughs> Fair Spyro. Vivid Voltage. Few of them here. Vivid Voltage. Ooh, trainer spot. Nice card. Beauty. Full art trainer. Nice one, Stacy. On the beauty, full art trainer. Very cool. Great card. There you go. Uh, I'm very much hoping so, Vincent. I'm very much hoping so. I did ask about those the last time I was on a call, so I'm very much hoping so. They haven't technically released yet. Walmarts and stuff had them a little bit early, actually, before the scheduled release date. We always get our stuff closer to the scheduled release date. 
So, uh, very, very much hoping so. I think so, though. I think so. Sableye and Donphan. They are, Justin. They are, indeed. All right, now the Vivid. <clears throat> yeah, but those are sick, Vincent. I need some of those for my collection as well. Sandile and Samurott. Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon. Evolution Premium Collection Boxes. That's what Vincent's talking about right now. They're fantastic. They have the alternate arts that were in uh, the Japanese uh, EV Hero sets. Um, as just like promo cards that you get guaranteed with every box. Two of them. Hydrogen and Arc Dissolve Hollow. So it's a fantastic uh, collection box. And I'm hoping that Pokemon decides to try to keep it up with collection boxes like that. That's really stuff that people like to see. Like with this most, uh, most recent V Union and uh, with this most recent collection box now. I like seeing stuff like that compared to, you know, just like uh, an Urshifu V box or something like that. Much nicer. Uh, and creativity is much higher with that stuff. Eternatus V on the back for Dark. Awesome. Yeah, they are pretty pricey right now, Vincent. I would uh, recommend just waiting maybe a week or two, Vincent. I think some more places are going to get their hands on them really soon. Like I said, the actual release is coming up really soon. So maybe just be a little bit patient on them. Trust me, man. All right, guys. Thanks again. Appreciate you joining that one. We'll get these cards all protected and sent right out to you. Awesome. Ultra Premium number 18.